So just another quick video about uh, the slideshow in Virtual D-Day 2023 based on a question in the Facebook group. The question was if you could actually change the source, uh, the image source, meaning where on the hard drive you want the images or videos to come from, if you can change that using script. And actually Daniel answered that and provided the scripts and then he let me use them in this video so that more people could, could learn. Because it's actually a nifty little feature. The idea, of course, being that if you have a lot of uh, folders for different purposes with your images or videos in them, you can maybe like do entire pad pages. So you can do it on the pads. That switches between those folders and then run through the actual uh, images and videos based on the settings, right? So a nifty little feature to be able to do. So uh, how do you do that? Well, uh, first here we we simply uh, turn on here uh, the video. And since this is an audio track, this is for where the video is actually a source. So the slideshow uh, is now the source. So uh, that's the audio only video um, replacement, if you will. Uh, this is a video that it uses for the audio tracks. So that's what we're running right now, uh, which is pretty common when you're playing with audio tracks. So that's just black. And that's because if we look into the, uh, the settings for it here, you can see it's set to, to the app folder, which doesn't have any images in it. But if uh, I change it to uh, uh, one of the two folders I've created for this little video, one of them uh, uh, is called, is called uh, Slideshow 1 and one is Slideshow 2. And one of them has an image of me in a pink bunny suit. And the other one has an image of me as a scary clown. So that's the one I want to go between. So I can do that in script uh, like this. So it's actually a two part script. And the first part is in the top line and the second part is in the second line. Uh, and it's actually the second part that's the important part, if you will, because that actually says to uh, set the video source to the slideshow and then it tells it to go into uh, the effect and uh, the settings for it with the effect string and set the first one to a directory. And since as you, uh, you saw before, we can just show it again. The first one is actually the folder. It'll set the folder. So now that's this sets that folder to, to C slash pictures for slideshow one. And the first part is actually just a something that's verifying this and then going on and off because that'll turn the light on the button on and off. So the first part is just for visualization uh, so that you can see, see where you are. That'll also work if you are on the pads, right? So, but right now we're using the custom buttons. So now, because this is already running, when I click source one, it should swift sh shift uh, to uh, the first folder and this is the second folder. Let's just turn this on again. So we can monitor it down here where it shows it. So the first folder, SL1, and me in a pink bunny suit. And if I click the other one, SL2 and me as a scary clown. So of course these folders could have a lot of pictures in it and all these settings for how long to show them and for the fade times and all that stuff. And it could also have videos in them. So that'll just basically be run. So it's really about setting the folder, right? So that was really it. But of course this is just for uh, when you're using audio only so you're not using video. So if we actually load a really video, a real video instead, like maybe this one, you of course get the video output um, because that's what you need, right? So then it's for this when slideshow is used as an overlay. So in this situation, so let me open that. And that's again C uh, app, that's the current folder. So we can also change that. It's almost the same. Script is a little different because it's actually looting that at the slideshow as a, um, as a master effect now, it's an effect, it's not the source. So, uh, but otherwise it's the same and it's the same two folders and the bottom line here is for setting it and the top line here is for verifying it so that the, the, the button lights up correctly up here. So again, if I turn the slide slow on, it currently won't do anything because it's, it's pointing at this app folder with no images in it. But if I then click the first one here, it should switch, shift to the, to the directory with me as Pink Bunny and this is me as Scary Clown. Let's just turn this on again. So we can actually see it happening. Sorry. 
so we can actually see it happening down here. So I click the first button, and we get the pics for 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 slideshow one and me as a pig bunny, and we click the second one, and we get me as a scary clown and pics for slideshow two. So that's basically uh, how you can change this folder to able to do this uh, on the fly, even on the patch on your controller. Uh, if you have large collections of these kind of pictures uh, and video files that you want either as overlays, that was the second part of the video, or as a primary source uh, because you're doing audio tracks for DJing. All the scripts will of course be in the video description. And again, thanks to Denny, Denio uh, for the scripts.